All right, this month's tip is about borders. Uh, up in the shapes menu here, if you hold the mouse button down on that, a rarely used one by most users, uh, you're going to find advanced border tool. Click on that, and in Design Central, you'll get the tool. Uh, we're going to create an inner border. We're going to use this design. If you want other designs, you click on the border type and just pick the one you want. So if we just pick one here, let's pick this one. Uh, notice proportional is not on. I'm going to turn that on. And then when I draw this, it uh, gives me a nice uh, nice little piece here. Just hold the shift key down and you can you know control it. You can also control the thickness. If you turn off inner border, border it becomes a solid. R really nicely done. Now what most don't realize is that if you click add here, you can actually add other jobs, even bitmaps as a border. For instance, if I choose, as long as it's an FX file, in other words, you, you need to save it as a as a flexi file. So any flexi file that you have, you can actually add that as a border. So I'm going to add the flag this time, okay? All right, and now I go back to, oops, didn't want to do add. Let's go back to our borders here, and down at the bottom, you'll see the flag. And notice that it's showing up as a rectangle like this. All I've got to do is turn off the inner border, and boom, there's the flag, right? So when you add it in here, just make sure you have the shift key down. Just make it proportional. Look at that. That's really quick, right? And you can use it for things like uh, dropping in uh, signatures, um, things like maybe uh, a logo, whatever you want. So create your own border and save it. Uh, download some from the internet if you want and just add them to the border capabilities of Flexi. Nice little tip. Be sure to visit addendo.com where you can get expert advice for training and signed professionals. Get advice on Flexi, route, and many other products in our market.